Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is Breakfast Daily Weekend. And right now, we are talking about what's happening in Accra. Excitingly, something good for kids is happening in Accra. So today, joining me in the studio is Sarah Kito. And if you've been watching Breakfast Daily, you would know Sarah Kito. Like Breakfast Daily, if you've been watching it religiously, you would know her. We interviewed her last year, and we also interviewed her somewhere this year. And today she's in the studio with us again. And if you're wondering who she is, she is actually a young author, a young Ghanaian author who has built a library. And now we're going to be talking to her and her father. Hi, you are welcome. Yeah, thank you. How's everything? It's going well. Going well. It's actually nice to, you know, um, see you again. Remember last year we spoke to you yes. and you were, you, were, you, were, you were really young. I still have the pictures there. <laughs> and then this earlier this year we spoke to you again on Zoom. Yes. And now you're here. So tell us about this library. So the library project that I'm doing, it, uh, it, was, so it started last year mm -hmm. around the time that I came. Uh, when I went to the library, I, I, I saw it. They took me to the library and then it, it didn't really have the feel mm -hmm. that I liked. Mm -hmm. So um, I went to the school and then I decided to refurbish the whole library. Right. And so when I came this year, it was all done. Mm -hmm. uh, we were just handing over the library, giving the headphones and everything. And we've now built two libraries, right. an e-library, mm -hmm. which has all the laptops and games they need to learn, mm -hmm. and then the physical library, which has lots of books, books. so they can enjoy themselves. Right, so um, I'm sure there are people watching you wondering, where is this library? Where are you talking about? I am talking about St. Paul's mm -hmm. uh, Preparatory St. Paul's mm -hmm. uh, Methodist Preparatory School mm -hmm. in Tema. Mm -hmm. And I went there on Wednesday, mm -hmm. took a commission and hand over the library. Right, right. So how has it been um, so far, especially with building up the library? Were there any challenges that you faced? Okay, you're, you're going to let daddy, okay. Yeah. All right, so um, ladies and gentlemen, Albert Kito, Sarah's dad. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I would say there were challenges. Um, and what were some of the challenges? There? The challenges was the fact that we're not here. We wanted to what we really wanted mm -hmm. to do. We had to depend on other people. Right. But um, there were all positive challenges mm -hmm. and also raising their finance for it because it was fully funded by the family. Wow. But we were, we were committed to it. Mm -hmm. That's why I say it's a positive sort of challenge mm -hmm. because it brought the best out of us. Right. So bring it, talking about bringing the best out of you, what do you think brings the best out of Sarah? What do you think is her driving force? I mean, for a young girl to say, okay, look, I want to build a library for this school. I, I think that's big. I think with Sarah, the driving force is more to do with the fact that um, she's seen philanthropy in, in the family and mm -hmm. um, she's also, she loves seeing people happy so when she actually came up with the book, the philanthropic aspect wasn't surprising. Mm -hmm. But the book itself was where we felt like, okay, then she's really doing something. But one of the drivers, even when we were coming today, I was telling her, there is a book that someone is giving to her, a special person, Alicia Dixon is yeah. giving to her. And she started re reading it, almost finished. I said, you need to do a book review. Right. If not, your school trip, we're going to have challenges. Mm -hmm. So she's like, oh, Daddy, I'm almost done. And then by next week, I'll do the book review. So what, she always has something that she has to look forward to. Mm -hmm. And it drives her to do more. All right. So earlier on, we were actually talking about, um, um, what, what's her name? Afronita, the Ghanaian dancer, you know, that has, you know, moved on to the finals of British um, Got talent. talent. And we were talking about how it was important for parents to support um, their kids in whatever they want to do. So um, when she came out to say, look, I want to write books, how was it for you? And why do you think it was important that you support it? You know, um, when it came to her book, um, write, it took her two years before she showed it to me. Oh. She wrote the book when she was seven. Mm -hmm. She only showed it to me when she was nine. 
And uh, her reason was the fact that she knows when she comes to me, I'm going to ask her more questions about it. So she needed to prepare herself. Mm -hmm. But when she showed me the books, there was, it was a no-brainer because I read it, I could find some value in there, and I thought, this is good. And she actually directed everything. She knew want, what she wanted, and so it made it easy for us to support her. Right. And okay. uh, it, was, it was just easy for her to get all the needed support. We right. were ready to be there right. for her. So how do you feel about um, you know, seeing your alma mater you know, being refurbished by your daughter? <laughs> it's interesting, um, because since I left there, uh, me and my family, we've been doing, we've been supporting the alma mater, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. this is a special one because she had no inclination to the school apart from me, and she just came there to donate books, and mm -hmm. through the donation, I, she just decides she wants to uh, refurbish the library. So right. it's a good thing because they're going to have a lot more Sarah Kitos coming out of that right. place. Mm -hmm. That's the most important mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. So what's the ultimate goal for this project, Sarah? Uh, so it's already completed, like mm -hmm. we've already handed over yeah. both of the libraries, mm -hmm. but the original, like, the original, what's the word, uh, target, yeah. the original target was to, um, to encourage more kids to read right. and to, because also when we went there, we, also, uh, we were also, uh, I decided we, to open up a reading and writing club, club mm -hmm. uh, to to encourage them to read and oh, write right, more yeah. and utilize the library. Right. So talking about writing, how many books do you have now? Because last time we spoke, you told me about Amma and the Lost Key. Yeah. yeah. So how's that going? It's going well. Um, so this is Amma and the Lost Key. Yes. Right. Nice. So it's dedicated to your little sister, mm -hmm. Mary. You will always be my best friend to mommy, to daddy. Thank you for your love and support always. So what's Amma and the Lost Key all about? So Amma and the Lost Key is about a young girl in Ghana mm -hmm. who uh, on her way back from school, she finds um, a lost, uh, she finds a key right. on the ground and she doesn't know where where it came from yeah so she's on a mission to find where it leads to oh wow how did you come up with this story sarah so i when i was it actually started with an idea from when i was doing my um entry exams mm -hmm. like when i was preparing for my entry exams one of the um mock exams it said to write a, like a short opening to a story and the word you have to use is um, Africa, mm -hmm. lost, mm -hmm. think, and it was a key. Right. It was somewhere along those lines. And then I actually originally was going to set it in Kenya, yeah. but when I came to Ghana last year, I decided to change it to Ghana because I have more experience with Ghana, obviously. Yeah, and as a Ghanaian. Yeah. yeah. All right, so where can people actually find you? This is the fourth book, right? Yes. The fourth book that you've written. Are, are we going to be expecting any other books this year? No, maybe not this year, right? but n next year, I'm sure there's going to be some more. Yeah, so where can people find your book? Um, on uh, Amazon, like, worldwide. Right. And if you're in the UK, my 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 website your website and what's the website sarahkito.co.uk yeah www.co.uk yes obviously <laughs> so, so sarahkito.co.uk right yeah and so we have here amma and the lost key lindsay and the blue fox the friendship club and other stories and sarah's Kito's stories, coloring book. She even has a coloring book. So all this about you. Well, I want to say congratulations. Thank you. You know, the last time we spoke, it was on Zoom, and you told me about this. But it's nice to have it here, and it looks really, really, really nice. So congratulations on this, and I hope it goes far, and I hope to see more of your books. So lastly, before you go, I want you to look into that camera and encourage kids like you, okay? All right. So... All I can say is, if you believe, you can achieve, and uh, and always, and always, and don't give up on yourself.
mm -hmm. and your dreams. Don't give up on yourself and your dreams. I like that. I like that. Thank you, Sarah. And Mr. Albert Kito, any final words? I think one thing I would say is parents, um, let us not always focus on the science and maths and English mm -hmm. about our children and support our children in all ways right. because um, you never know what you may see as a weakness in your child right. may be a strength. Right. So just build your children, support them. And it's not about finance. It mm -hmm. is more about the willingness to support them. Right, right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was really nice having you on the show. I'm actually very excited to see you, like I told you. So, <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. So, ladies and gentlemen, we've been speaking to Sarah Kito, the 11 year old author of four books, who just completed um, a library project at St. Paul's Methodist School in Tema. And, you know, like, it's not just a library project. It is actually two library projects. It's um, the library with the books, obviously the physical one, and the e-library where they have the computers and you know to help the kids use computers and all that. And I think it's a great one. So if you have people out there that want to support, please support them and go check out her website and also support her books, sarahkito.co.uk to you know um, get any of her books. Thank you so much.